Good morning. It's Liz. How are you this morning? I'm noticing for myself that I'm, I'm having more of a quiet internal energy this morning. Um, but I wanted to share a, an additional resource with you all about on, on this journey of living our true nature. And today I'm going to share about connecting with our animal allies and, and uh, a simple way to do that. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Liz Gutierrez and I'm a psychiatrist that helps people reconnect their true nature and live an authentic life um, in harmony with themselves and the earth. And you know, I, to be honest, it's been an emotional week for me, not just an emotional day, um, the previous day. Uh, I'm just noticing these internal and external cycles in my life. And I know that um, these emotions that I'm feeling are part of uh, a, a grief and release process as I grow and expand and you know when we grow and expand into our next evolution into the next stage of unfolding um, in our lives it's inevitable that we have to make room for it we have to release things old things that are um, you know to make room for the new so honoring both, honoring the growth as well as the release and just letting you know that this, this process, you know, it takes, it takes a lot of um, intention and commitment and, and I want to, you know, normalize that it's, it's, it's a challenging process, um, but it's also very rewarding because, you know, when you grow into who you truly are and who you're meant and designed to be and what life is supporting you to become, there's, there's a sense of alignment with that process. And, and yes, it's uncomfortable because you're, you're, you're growing into areas that you haven't been before. You're, you're chartering unchartered territory. And so um, there can be discomfort with that there's discomfort with growth. That's why we, we, we tend to want to stay in our comfort zones because everything's familiar there, and, but yet we can't grow in our comfort zones. And to, you know, to be honest, even though this is uncomfortable, this is uncomfortable for me to, uh, to show up, to do lives, uh, to be launching a new group program that I've never done before next month. Um, it's much preferable for me at least and I, I hope to you know speak to those of you who are kind of like wanting to grow into that next stage that you feel like that's where you need to go but you're kind of like not sure like can I do it what well, how's that gonna feel um, it's 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 preferable it's it's a different experience of living when you're actually growing into that rather than staying in a familiar place where you're not, you're, you know you're holding your own growth back. And I say that from experience. So um, I wanna share with you uh, an additional lovely resource of, that to help you connect with your animal allies we talked about using nature and, and the infinite ways it can support us uh, I use water a lot I use I talk to the trees and the plants um, and, and the flowers in the plant kingdom and then there's also the animal kingdom and one of my dear friends uh, gifted me this this uh, animal spirit backwards here let me show you the animal spirit um, guide book and deck which has been such a, a lovely resource for me and, and what I want to do is just keep sharing resources with you like things that have really been useful to me in my life that I hope will be useful to you because we're really meant to share ourselves uh, nature shares herself so abundantly and freely with all of us and as humans we're meant to share ourselves as well in whatever way feels uh, most beneficial and authentic for us and so 
as I was noticing for myself this, um, I'm not even gonna label it anxiety because it's more just discomfort. It's, it's the inevitable discomfort with growth. I was, I've, not, I've been noticing this discomfort <laughs> with growth and I was asking myself like what animal energies, spirits and qualities could really support me during this time and sometimes I use the deck and just ask but this time I knew, I knew what animal I wanted to support me so I called, I called forth um, the tiger, you know, the tiger card to, to really support me in this passage of my journey. And, you know, the tiger showed up as an animal spirit ally for me almost two years ago. And it's interesting when in my meditations, that's how, that's how they show up for me when I ask, when I ask, like, what, what, um, please show me, you know, who's here to support me. Um, when I, when Tiger first showed up, actually, it's interesting. I got kind of scared. I was scared of Tiger. I'm like, oh goodness, what does Tiger, what does Tiger want with me? And as I've learned to not be scared of Tiger, but to actually embody Tiger, not not in the tiger mom way. <laughs> I'm not a tiger mom by any means. My my kids would probably describe me as a like um, a pushover mom. But, so I'm not a tiger mom as a mom. But in, in a, but in my own personal journey, the qualities of a tiger that I so admire and I so um, look to tiger to guide me in is the sure-footedness in the dark. That's one of the qualities of the tiger who hunts at night, is the tiger is so sure of themselves as they hunt in the night. They're so sure of their instincts and um, that even though the path may be dark or they don't really know uh, what is where the path is leading, they have a sure-footed fearlessness in them that I so admire that and I feel really speaks to how I live my life on my personal inner journey is, is I don't really know where my path is going, but as long as I stay rooted to the earth, one foot in front of the other, trusting that I am fully equipped to walk this life that I have been given, then that just gives me the, the confidence and the support to keep on going. So, so I really called forth the, the spirit of Tiger to be with me at this time and then right so, so, yes, tiger. Mm, I just love looking at tiger. And that's how I work with it too, is I look at the card, I breathe in the energy, I remind myself of the qualities of the tiger that I so want to activate in myself. And then, and then right before I came on live, um, a hawk flew right over me and, and you know the hawk is also one of my spirit allies and guides and I was so you know it was such a blessing it's a real blessing to hawk was sort of communicating with me like hey we see you Liz we got your back too like you got tiger out down there we got you up in the air um, we want to join you too. And that was really, you know, I feel so supported. I feel so supported by Hawk as well. Because I often also admire the qualities of the Hawk, which has such a big picture, expansive overview of, 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 of everything. It has keen eyes, keen vision. 
it knows exactly like the bigger picture and where you're on it and to have both at the same time to have both this aerial big picture overview of your life's path your destiny to know that you're always on the right track and then to like be rooted on the ground walking that step foot by foot is you know it just provides me so much um, support and guidance and so you know I'm so grateful I'm so grateful for these animal allies that we have in the world for me right now, it's hawk and tiger. I'm really channeling them both to give me the big picture vision and to stay uh, really grounded in just taking everything one step at a time. Um, and you don't necessarily, what I wanna show with these cards is that it's so great to have real life interactions um, with our guides um but you know i it's so lovely that hawk flew over but i don't expect tiger to show up in real life <laughs> today that would be a real surprise um but that we can just tune into the qualities of nature allies that we want to connect with and and we can do that in a variety of ways you know the oracle cards are a way to do it you know i want to just briefly share with you other ones I work with. I work a lot with water. So the water crystal cards. Um, I think I showed a little bit of that. I work a lot with, with flowers. And I just learned yesterday that my wild animal, wild plant spirit is a dandelion, which also gave me such delight to learn the qualities of a dandelion. Um, you know, how tough and and sturdy they are and how they grow really everywhere their seed lands and how they're really meant to to be easily propagated to be easily spread on the wings of of air it's just mm. you know every time i look at a dandelion now i'm gonna have such a deeper appreciation and connection with it and then also um I love my stones. I love my crystal allies. So, and you know, maybe I'll go into some more of those later, but I really felt called to share the, the animal ally piece this morning, especially as I really tuned into myself and really tuned into what my soul was needing support with on this leg of my journey. And that's the process um, that, you know, I'll, you know, I, I, I want, I'll be sharing more in my Live Your True Nature program. Um, it's, it's just the process of really tuning into your truth, how you're feeling, what your energy is every day, and then having like this wealth and cornucopia of um, resources and tools to turn to, to support you. So I hope that was useful. If you want to share this, um, I would be grateful if you want to follow if you would like to follow click to follow me to get live notifications um, i look forward to continuing to share this journey and process with you okay have a lovely day